Hey all, welcome back. For those of you who are new here, hi, my name is Kaviti and welcome to the community. I'm so glad to have you guys a part of the channel. Also, today's post notification shout out goes out to Behind the Silver. Thank you so much for being a part of this channel and for a shout out, all you gotta do is subscribe and comment down below. So right now I'm headed off to Gaul for a collaboration. On Instagram, I was invited for a Mehindi session by Hena by Tahini. I'll tag that Instagram page here for you guys to go check it out. So the artist who did my henna is based in down south Gaul. You can get the designs done with red or black henna depending on your preference. You can go for a simple design or an intricate one depending on your liking as well. Also have to mention that the henna artist does location based visits in down south Gaul for weddings, events and parties as well. And while she was doing the art, I remembered that a Diwali celebration was coming up just around the corner for me. So because henna usually lasts for nearly two weeks, the design stayed on even till the day of the Diwali celebration. So that was pretty cool. After the design was done, she drew a simple design using the black henna on my right hand. And at the end, I loved how well both the hands turned out. She did such an amazing job. So for those of you who are watching in from Gaul, if you want a Mehindi artist for your weddings, events and parties, do check this page out on Instagram for more details. Once it was done, we spent the rest of the day in Gaul chilling about and then we headed back to Colombo. While on the highway, we made a stop at the Canoeen Arcade and tried out this place called Star Beans. We got fish and chips from here and then after eating that, we were fully back to Colombo. My Mihindi might be looking a bit distorted right now, but don't worry, I did not smudge it. What's happening right now is after you get Mihindi, the top coat naturally peels off as it should because then only the lovely henna or Mihindi stain lingers about. Once in Colombo a couple of days later, some of my friends came over. While breakfast was being done, I caught up on Zoella's Vlogmas videos. It's a tradition almost for me to keep up to date with her Vlogmas videos during December because it's so festive and warm. After having breakfast, my friends and I watched movies, chit-chatted, chilled about and played Pictionary which is a game where you split into teams and you have to draw an object, a character or anything and the other team has to guess. It's a really fun game to play with family and friends. Anyways, for dinner that night, we headed off to meet Carlos to relish some barbecue. It's been some time since I visited there. We ordered platter number two, which comes with chicken whole legs, pork chops, sausages, garlic bread, barbecue sauce, and it comes with pineapple sauce as well. For drinks, we got Coca-Cola. We also got this passion fruit mojito, which was pretty good. And then after dinner, we hopped in over to McDonald's to get their sundae for dessert. I was really craving a sundae. Usually when I get a sundae, I ask for extra chocolate because as you can see, they add loads more chocolate than they usually would. Then the next morning for brunch, my friends and I headed over to the Sanctuary restaurant. 
it's a resto bar and a lounge bar it goes as a restaurant that has multi cuisine food cocktails mocktails and more this location just reminded me so much of my bali trip the vibe ambiance and the decor was so alike to that of the restaurants in bali and it was such a lovely spot so we went in there and got some cappuccinos and potato wedges My outfit for the day was this really cute pink dress. It was gifted to me by Oyoka Clothing Sri Lanka. I'll tag that Instagram page here. They have really cute fits. They have summery dresses as well. So all of you fashionistas watching in, do go check them out. You all will really love that page. We only had a simple breakfast because we were saving our appetites this day because we were going to head over to Fazli's uh, restaurant for lunch. So after having our simple and nice breakfast, we left off from here. Before leaving off, actually, we hopped in over to the Beverly Street Mall, which is situated right next to this restaurant. We went in there and ventured around, uh, especially at their perfume section. Always on the road. Afterwards, we left off from here and then we headed off to lunch. As I mentioned earlier, we went over to the Fazli's restaurant. We grabbed uh, some burgers from there as well as a shawarma. After lunch, we headed back because during the evening there was going to be Diwali celebrations at university, so we had to get ready for that. My attire for the event was this creamy lehenga. I'll show you guys my outfit through some snippets that I filmed. Now I can And then we headed off for the celebrations. And yeah, with that guys, I'm going to be wrapping up this time's video. Hope all of you enjoyed. If you all did, don't forget to follow me up on my socials, my Instagram and my TikTok for more behind the scenes. And I will see you all again next time with another video.